join me today for Slack Life TV's episode. I'm going to weave in more of the center. So here we go. We've got our pink paracord that just got delivered. We've got the edge right here. Gives itself about six to eight feet. Cut that. Boop. The scissors. Come back over here. <coughs> Put those in and we'll start weaving. So the way I do this is I look for an open section where it's bigger, so obviously right here is bigger. So what I'll do is I'll start this with a little double fisherman's. And here we go. So the basic idea of space netting is to get every piece of paracord to touch every other piece of rope that touches the entire outside ring of the am steel. This makes it so that basically a space net is equalization's wet dream. Everything is pulling on everything. The skeletal piece that I'm wrapping right now is thicker than the rest, so I tie a clove hitch before moving on. And as you see, sometimes you get knots or line from pulling it through. It only happens when you tie your lines too long. That's okay. As you can see from this video, everything I'm doing is sped up. I'm tying a girth hitch around the skeletal point this time, making sure that if any part of this paracord breaks along the way, it will only untie to the last tied piece, which would be either a girth hitch or a clove hitch. I'm tying another clove hitch here on the skeletal piece. Once you get all of your knots tied, you can adjust them. This is why I do not tie clove hitches around the net. Adjusting the net makes it so you can make your gaps even size. Some people think this makes it look nicer. I think that it helps with equalization. Either way, tying space nets like this is super ideal in terms of equalization. When you want a net to be safe, you want it all to pull equally on every part of the net. This center flower that I'm tying right now is actually removable. So as I tie each one of these pieces, all I will have to do to remove the center ring, the pink spiral of awesome, I will just have to cut the yellow paracords holding it together. I tie a clove hitch to finish, and this one piece is done just about 15 minutes later. If you haven't already, visit our YouTube page Click subscribe, click the bell next to it, and check the box that sends you all of Slack Life TV's episodes right when they come out. Okay, let's go say hi to the turkey. Hopefully he's ah, being nice. Chickens. And there's our turkey. Hi, turkey! Do-ba-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-